Divo world number one pair of Wu and Wang. If there was a golfing class in terms of on paper the world rankings, achievements and in terms of formidability of uh, the Chinese player, well that golf's a, a little wider even more here for this women's doubles pair because there's not too many other pairs that can live with these Chinese two, never mind a, a scratch pairing like this. I think actually uh, the Chinese pair has only lost once. The way I can recall it, perhaps you have more information, Richard, but I think they only lost once to a non-Chinese pair. I bet you're right. <laughs> you're absolutely right. Yeah, they lost. Uh, they lost to uh, a Korean pair, didn't they? In the uh, final, of the Malaysian Open was it? It's uh, an unbelievable record they have. Not Hetfield and their partner Nilter, of course. I'm talking about Huang Xiaoli and Hu Yang. Eleven Fields. victories in 2011. Fields. Field. Referee Ivo Cassell from Switzerland. So now to and Hedrich. Well, they've pretty much just come together at this uh, Uber Cup. Played one match, they lost in three games to the Australians Viren and Chu. Played with different partnerships in the game against Korea. Now to play with uh, Goloszewski and Hedrich with Bot. But what can you say about Wu Yang and Wang Xiaoli? formed their partnership first of all in September 2010 20 tournaments 19 finals 14 titles that's amazing you can see they haven't really played very much in 2012 after that unbelievable 2011 they have uh, only played in two lost two finals so I suppose you could say they're uh, looking for their first win of the year, but you're just putting out there that career win-loss for Wu Young. She's the golden ticket, isn't she? Yes. <laughs> Already an Olympic champion. This is a formidable, formidable player. So strong, physically, excellent technique. There's Carla Nelter, 21-year-old student from the uh, University of Duisburg. As you can see, that's a career win loss record with her partner. That's that game I was mentioning against the Australians, Viren and Chu. They lost in three games. Isabel Hedrich, only 20 years of age. She normally plays women's doubles with Inken Weinfeld. They're 71 ranked. An emerging okay. talent. Both her parents were players in the Bundesliga. Took up the sport at the age of four, so... Bot, you saw that getting some uh, much needed nutrition before her women's singles game, which will be the, the next game on. But our focus, of course, is on this surely one sided women's doubles affair. But let's see if they can surprise us again, Richard. Wait, listen, uh, listen, I'm, 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 I'm ready and, and hoping to Ladies be surprised. On my right, Germany, represented by Carla Nelte and Isabel Helfrich. Anyway, it's a quite a young German team, so there's no doubt that they will benefit in the future from this experience.
nice bit of sparring to open up and the Germans do take the first point. They start out the same way Karin Schnauzer did. Plays from now to interesting that they should put this pair together because Goloszewski's here. Nelta's normal partner is Goloszewski, they're ranked 69 in the world. So, obviously, the coaches have decided for some reason to put these two together up against such a formidable partnership. Uh, they might be considering. Uh Swapping in the partnerships of the ladies' double after the Olympics, perhaps. Goloszewski's uh, playing with uh, Schnasser in the uh, second of the women's doubles, should it come to that. Starting to really get on top here, aren't they? Ooh, and one. Six, two. from uh, Wang Shari. <laughs> the way she looks at the racket. see the differences in uh, physical strength between the two pairs so wise of the Germans to try to control the game use a lot of clearing shots and a lot of attacks yes. no doubt that the Chinese will be superior in the flat game defense will also be an area where the Chinese have big big advantages of the net cord there, Germany. And at 
the interval. It's 11-5 to Wu Yang and Wang Xiali. And uh, it wasn't for a couple of errors in there from the Chinese pair. Which you don't expect from them, it would have been even more one-sided. But as I said, what do you do? I mean, <laughs> as you mentioned, any one non-Chinese pair have, have beaten them. That was ha, ha and Kim at the Korean Open. You know, they just it seemed unstoppable anyway to, to, to most of the best pairs in the world. Nothing much you can do apart from what the Germans decided before the match. Set some small goals, focus on other things than winning points making the right choices, look for small signs of improvement. It's slipping away a little bit too fast now for the Germans. Yeah, somehow need to get a foothold back in this game, don't they? Fifteen five. They're trying to be constructive in the service situation, but it's really difficult because it has to be so accurate. Otherwise, they will get punished very, very quickly. Six. Surprisingly, these uh, two were voted the PWF Ladies Player of the Year. Uh, you can see the German smashes. <laughs> yeah, one went down here, but it was more due to a lack of concentration from uh, Yu Young than actually quality in the smash. There, there's simply no match for, for the Chinese. They just brush the smashes away like annoying mosquitoes I've had a few of those this week White. good one there from Isabel Hattrick remember seeing Wu Young ever play uh, as many loose shots as this it's got to be just because it, it is was getting a bit too easy yeah it is it is easy you, know, you don't have a record like she has playing shots like that I mean in 2010 she won seven titles but with three different partners. Last year she won 11 titles, of course, alongside this lady here. Look at that again. I 
Nothing had to. She can't even get it back over the net to her opponents. Hit from Wang Xiaoli, but uh, turned out su successful. Uh, he's brought up game points. Rally here. Yeah, good way to end the opening game. I think Nelto and Hetzig would take 10 points, wouldn't they, at the start of the day? Mm. No, not really. No. Seven or eight would have been my bit. No, I'm saying they take it as in it's better than they maybe expected to. Yeah. Exactly. Former mixed double player Chen Chichui, together with the doubles head coach Chen Bingyi. But now to in here have done uh, done okay. Although most of the points they got were, as I'm sure we'll see when we see the stats. Most of them have come from errors at the other end of the court, rather than their winners. I don't mean to be harsh on them, but that has been the reality of that opening game. from them. Just caught the uh, racket of Hedrich there. One, two. These two as well are the only ones in the German in the uh, Chinese team actually supremely confident of their places. Yeah, I think, I think the second ladies doubles as well is is quite secure. Even though they were in, in quite big trouble yesterday against Indonesia, but um, the way I see it, at least the, the third ladies doubles pairings with uh, Cheng Shu and uh, especially Pan Pan is not as strong as. Um, the second women's doubles. But uh, yeah. There's no doubt about this pair is playing here. Could actually be interesting to see a match between 
Yu Yang and uh, Wang Xiaoli and um, a couple of the men's doubles that has already left the tournament from South Africa. I'm quite positive Three. the Chinese women would have a good chance of winning that match. Yeah. Do they ever have a matches like that against against the men? Uh, not that I can remember. It could be interesting to see what level they would play to when mm. they were playing if they were playing men's doubles. Serve is over. In terms of, Four, I mean, they're hitting it. Five. Yeah, only around 200, aren't they? 200 kilometers per hour. Yeah. So they haven't got the same power as, as um, you'd say, the majority of the men. But their combination is such that they'd still be a very effective pair. Great, great control. Fabien de Prez there to the right. Melta did well there, didn't she? A few right at the body, which she dealt with. And the intensity has gone down a little bit for the Chinese pair. We will have the third match of Thomas Cup for the finals. Men's doubles representing Russia, Yip Jin Tremi, Sergei Nueve. Representing Denmark, John Lodge Rasmussen, Conrad Nielsen. But again, the Germans, I'm sure, delighted. Karin Schnauzer certainly has led the way here. And uh, the scratch pairing in the women's doubles are, are doing themselves some justice. to work hard. The German girls here sometimes at the pairings when they play the Chinese they know that they have no chance of scoring or virtually very slim chance of scoring and that means that they take stupid chances causing them to make easy mistakes but um, no such thing here. The other way right just left but it actually pulled the line. Present from the German men's team, of course, as they're playing tonight against uh, Korea, just like yesterday. Nine, 
Youngbo coaching a bit even though he's not sitting in the coach's chair. Well, there is the interval, and uh, it's uh, been another case, really, of China's best players here, not quite, and I suppose in some respect, understanding, but not quite living up to their heights. It definitely uh, doesn't show the same kind of determination as uh, the men's team did yesterday against Indonesia. They were very, very determined to win as big as possible. think there's uh, any question at all and uh, certainly not even hinting at it that there is uh, going to be anything else but a 2-0 lead here for China um, having said that there's probably going to be very very little chance of it being anything other than 3-0 China come the end scoreline but I think given the fact that you've got four of Germany's best players missing Juliana Schenk, of course, leading the way, but others as well are not here. Then Germany showing some real depth here, aren't they, really? And showing that there's some players behind that are also, you know, of decent quality. Yeah, this is uh, this the future of uh, German badminton that we're watching in, in this team match. Even though Karin Schnasser has been around for a while. And Carola Bott, who we'll see next, uh, she's 27 now as well. She's been around a while. But these two young girls here are certainly going to be around for a, a while longer. And this is a brilliant experience for them playing here against the uh, world number one pair. It's far from disgracing themselves. Keep just <laughs> surprising. Great check from the 
Steve Young. I really like that she's leaving a little margin for error there. Fifteen all in the second game. And now the German pair take the lead. Surely not. Is the unthinkable about to maybe become a reality? No, I don't think so. But Me uh, neither, but goodness. <laughs> yeah. Of course the uh, the Chinese are clearly able of playing at a totally different standard, but Anyway, this is actually giving me some hints on how could other pairs beat the Chinese. What do they need so to what, practice? So what, what are they doing here? What are the Germans doing? Keeping it in play longer? Is that? I mean, just yeah, they're keeping it in play. They're not. They're not afraid to work really, really hard. Um, the Chinese are a little bit passive in the defense. We're probably not going to see that in uh, in a match where they feel a little bit under pressure and. Uh, 18-15 now, Steve. Yeah, it's only three small mistakes away from the third game. Well, it, 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 nothing wakes them up. This scoreline will. And I don't want to just say that it's been a, a poor performance by Wu and Wang in this second game in particular, because I want to give every bit of credit here to Nauta and Hedrich. I've actually seen this once. I've seen the, the Danish combination of Cruz and Rupke taking a set off the Chinese in, in the All England 2011. Well, for a moment there, there was a, a shot low down to the right hand side of the court as the Chinese were defending that almost found its way through. Yeah, they're normally they're rock solid in defense, the Chinese players, but the concentration level is a bit below where it's supposed to be. It's fair to say 18-15 has woken them up. Yeah, let's just have a point for Germany here. Let them be scared of standing there for a third set. Yes, oh, exactly. The, the net court came <laughs> to their came to their rescue there. Two points away from taking a game off the world number one pair. This scratch pair of Carla Nelza and Isabel Hedrich. points for making it one game all. And the Germans put it off here. Quite lucky for the Chinese. Game at points. Nelta and Hedflick. I'd like to tell you what world ranking they are, but they haven't got one. Oh, just snatched 
twisted it a little bit there. Did Hedrich, understandably. Another missed opportunity. Uh, they're wanting that point a little bit too much now. They have to keep the patience in the attack. Carry on doing what they were doing. Exactly, don't lose the balance. Always be ready to help your partner. There it is. Unbelievable. Carla Nauter and Isabel Hedrich have taken a game off the world number one pair in only their second match together. Quite wunderbar. No wonder he wants to take a picture of them. In fact, he was actually <laughs> taking a picture of the scorecard or the scoreboard. That certainly is a memento, isn't it? <laughs> we did take a game of. Uyang and Wang Siali. Don't really need to say anything to them, do you really? Yeah. I'm talking, I mean, I do understand a bit of German. It just says you're catching them by surprise. They're smiling, the girls, but I'm not sure they're listening that much to what Jakob is telling them. They probably can't believe it themselves, really. Just happy to uh, take in a game off the dominating Chinese combination of Wang Xiaoli and Yang. And more importantly, scored 13 points by themselves, overhead yeah. winners and winners from the net. Yeah, it was a uh, big contrast to that opening game. predicted this will we see a reaction here from the Chinese pair because they've been stung all right no doubt though the Good Germans must, must be growing in confidence The right idea. Yeah, it's too bad. Really well played from the German side here in this rally. Uh, keeping the initiative and preventing the Chinese pair from attacking. It's not like when they're. Th it's not like they have a very, very dangerous net player, the Chinese. Both players actually have their forces on. Uh, on the baseline and in the defense. That's it. Why? Do you think then that some of the other pairs now around the world will just maybe try and grab a copy, DVD copy of this match? Would they learn a lot by watching it? Uh, <laughs> I'm actually not sure they will. I'm saying for other pairs to look at in terms yeah. of taking yeah. on yeah. Uh, one. Probably a lot of the both players and coaches thought the way we did that um, this was uh, going to be an easy match for the Chinese. 
so they're not really uh, giving that attention. You don't think that you can uh, you can get the ideas on how to beat Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang by watching uh, some German Carl scratch. Alan Nilte yeah. and uh, Isabel Hertrich playing them, but um, that might actually be the case here. Turn. That was a little bit too high from uh, Carla Nelte. But uh, the flat pushes towards the um, backcourt corners. Very difficult for the Chinese players to do something constructive there. But as soon as it's a little bit too high, they come in and use their power. now regaining their dominance aren't they but the fact that we're in a third game at all is uh, say pretty shocking yeah, I believe you could have gotten quite good odds <laughs> a bit yeah German girls just to win a game. Nine, two. Seven points in a row. Seven over, eleven three, in the ball. Changes. This is more like the scenario I'd had expected beforehand. Sure. Yeah. You know, uh, if it was, you know, 21 10, 21 11, you'd have said, you know, well played German girls. You did pretty well, you know, not disgraced. But this scenario. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just thinking here in the in the context of the overall Uber Cup, you know, which China are desperate to win back. You look at the performance of Wang Shizian yesterday, the, the second women's doubles pair as well, they went a, a game down. You, you look at the performance here as well, and, and you look at the uh, you know Wang Yihan as well, and the opening singles, and you, you're thinking is that just something doesn't seem quite right. There's some signs, there's some small signs. I don't know if there's any of the other women's teams that are actually strong enough to exploit them, but there's some signs. You could there's vulnerability make a case. there, isn't there? Yeah. But I mean, at the end of the, the week, I mean, it, you'd still fancy them to become away with as the winners, but. They're hardly runaway favourites now, are they, really, given what the performances they've produced so far this week? And they're going to face resistance. They're going to face resistance now because everybody can see that, that they can be challenged. Whereas the Chinese men's team, they look really, really solid yesterday. Only problem was the men's doubles where China fielded their number three pairing 
lost the first game, but then quite convinced, I think. Took the second and the third. But as you said, it was the third pairing who, you know, probably having their only run out of the week anyway. Nothing more left in uh, the German players now. No, it's becoming a big struggle this third game. You wonder if it would be it'd been better off having a glorious defeat in the second game. At least people arriving to the hall right now must think, however did they win that second game. But listen, you, you'll never be able to take that away from them. They did take it the game of the number one pair and uh, certainly obviously something the German coaches are looking at as a possible combination in the future otherwise they wouldn't be pairing them together like this in the Uber Cup and well the signs are that it may be a, a pairing worth looking at a little more there now China Well, match points have arrived. Well, comfortable in the third game, but goodness me, what a brilliant performance from the German pair of Nelter and Hedrich in this women's doubles match. The world number pair, one pair of Uyang and Wang Siali given a huge fright. Really, this scratch German pair have shown many others around the world of how to do it against the world number ones. And the difference in that third game, Steve? A little bit of increase in uh, concentration and pace. Um, but still far from uh, 
90, 95, 100 percent from the from the Chinese players, but um, but enough to win comfortably. Too many mistakes from the Chinese in in the second game. Quite unconcentrated. So victory for Wu and Wang. But well, in some respect, the moral win goes to Germany in that one. So victory in the end for Wu Yang and Wang Xiaoli over the German pair of Karila Nauter, uh, Karla Nauter and Isabel Hetrich. Took three games though, but it is China 2, Germany 0.